Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going really good. We uh, we got the frankincense going over here in the incense burner. It smells really good in here. It's uh, supposed to start raining here pretty quick. California, we got we got two things going on. Either we're burning all summer long, or it's raining and we got floods. Burning or floods. There's a, there's like no neutral ground anymore. So listen. I've had a lot of people leave in the comments telling me, you know what, Pastor Bob, I am so stressed out. You know, and it's easy to get stressed out in these times. I mean, inflation is killing a lot of people. If you were barely getting along before and gas starts going up, you know, in California the other day, the cheapest regular at the standard station was like $5.30 for the cheapest regular. And food in the stores, Stuff that, that you used to pay like a buck and a half for is now four and five dollars. It's just, it's crazy. I used to pay seven dollars for a thing of U-Ban coffee for a regular canister, and now it's up to like, you know, 13, 14 bucks. It's just, it's crazy. But listen, we're supposed to have peace in spite of everything that's going on all around us. This is what John tells us in John 14, 27. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. People, Jesus is our peace, and he's going to see us through everything. You have to trust in him. So why is it that so many people are not experiencing this peace that Jesus said he was giving to us? You know, the other day I left my neighborhood and I went down to the first light, and the light turned red. Well, I was going to go straight, so I uh, I pulled up, and uh, this other car was going to turn left. Well, my light turned green, so uh, when I went, this guy comes out of the left turn lane, and he goes with me, and he goes down a half a block, whips a U-turn, comes back, and then turns right. He was in such a hurry, he could not wait 30 seconds for his light to turn green. Here the guy risks like a $300 ticket because he's in a hurry. And, and I see that on the roads all the time. People are in such a hurry that it's just, they, they stress themselves out and they stress out everybody around them. So listen. Isaiah 30, 15, this is what it says. For thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest ye shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. People, we need to have quietness in our heart and confidence in God. This is something that I discovered, and I want to tell you people, that really changed my life years ago. You know, in the military, when I first joined the military, I learned right off the bat that you are never late for anything. You're never late for anything. The first thing you do, every soldier that was back before cell phones, you always have a watch on. You always have a watch on and it's got the perfect time on it because you cannot be late. If you show up when they have a formation and that formation is called to attention, you don't walk over and join that formation. You have to stand on the side and everybody sees that you were late. And normally when that happens, you just volunteer for weekend duty. Or if you have a class somewhere and you show up and they've already shut that door, you don't just walk into that class. You have to wait till they go on break and then, then you get let in. I mean, you learn in the military, you're never late. So what I learned was, and what I still do to this day, is I live my life with margin. I always allow for things to go wrong. I allow for traffic. I allow for a flat tire. I, I allow in case I got the wrong address. I live my life with margin. And what that does, that brings total and complete peace to my life. The other day I had an appointment and uh, I got there about 15 minutes early. I had a nice leisurely drive, got there 15 minutes early. So what did I do during that 15 minutes while I was waiting? I got out the book on the stereo in my car 
and I figured out how to change the clock because a couple weekends ago we set our clocks forward an hour. So I figured out how to do that while I was sitting there. When I go down to the VA, I have a leisurely drive down to the VA. I'll normally get there half an hour early and they have a lot of static aircraft on display. They have a lot of really nice uh, different displays on the grounds and I walk around and check everything out. I have some friends there. I'll go in and say hi to people. Might go get a cup of coffee. I mean, I make it a leisurely visit. I'm not going to run late and get in my car and have to speed down there and worry about every light turning red or if there's going to be a traffic jam and then I'm going to get there just in time to run in and barely make that appointment. People, that kills you when you're under that kind of a stress. You need to live your life with margin and account for all the things that could go wrong and just be at total peace. You need to learn to live your life with margin. When I go to the airport, when I take someone to the airport, I always tell them, look, this is when we're leaving. We have to be there X amount of time early. And it's a leisurely trip with no stress. Do you know somebody, listen, this is one more thing I want to close with. Do you know somebody, do you have a relative that's always late? I have a couple of relatives that are always late. If you're having a barbecue and you tell them we're eating at 3 o'clock, they will be there at 4. They'll be there an hour late and then you got, you know, it's just a bummer. You tell them, if you invite them over for dinner and you say dinner's at 6, we're eating at 6, they're going to be there at 6.30. So I got a couple relatives that I started telling them, if we're going to eat at 3, I tell them we're going to eat at 2. That way they'll be there right on time. If I'm having a barbecue at 4 o'clock, I tell them, yeah, we're having it at 3. That way they'll be there right on time. But uh, we've all got those relatives. But people, listen. If you're stressed out and things are getting to you, Live your life with margin, all right? Live your life with margin. Don't buy things you don't need. Save that money up so in case the car breaks, you got the money to fix it. Live your life with margin. Leave early so you can have a leisurely drive and get there stress-free. So anyway, guys, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, just a done deal. Hey guys, I want to show you my Home Depot outfit. If you ever want to have some fun, put on a Home Depot outfit and go to Home Depot. So I've got on my orange Harley Davidson t-shirt and then I've also got on my tan pants. And whenever I go to Home Depot wearing this, everybody comes up to me and says, where's this, where's that, because they think I work there. And I tell them. That someone will come up to me and say, where's the drywall screws? And I'll say over on, on aisle 37. Someone will come up and say, where's the air conditioning filters? And I'll say, they're over there on aisle 37. Someone will say, hey, where's the paint brushes? Aisle 37. And after I've been in there for about 10 minutes, half the store is over there on aisle 37. And then I can go to the cash registers and just check out no one's in front of me. Anyway, if you ever get bored, try it. It's fun.